Ah, hey, a very good morning to all of you. Good morning. good morning. Thanks, Rashmi, Zamna, and Prerna for coming to get interviewed for HTBD, How to Do Business in Dubai. Mm -hmm. So, welcome to all three of you. Thank you. It's a pleasure so, to be here. Happy to be here. Actually. <laughs> that's great. That's great. Super, super. So, we'll start from a brief introduction. So, if you guys can tell something about yourselves, and then we can get you know further in the discussion about how your experience and reflections have been about Dubai. Uh, shall I go ahead? Yes. So, hi, my name is Prabhna. Background is marketing and design, but somehow I got interested in product management and ended up building a product community. And I have two friends who have come along and been on the journey of building community for entrepreneurs and digital product managers. That's pretty much mine. That's great. What about uh, you, Zamna? I'm Zamna. I moved to Dubai last year and I've been a product manager back in Canada. I moved here. Yeah, we just took a risk like during COVID. It was just insane in Canada. We were in lockdown and things like that. We moved here. Yeah, we saw Dubai was open. So we're like, you know what? Let's try Dubai. And um, my husband had an investment opportunity here. That's why we moved. I moved here, but then I didn't know anybody in the product community, right? No no one to look forward to, no one to talk to. Then I saw an event that Farina had posted on LinkedIn about product me, and it got me really excited. Went to the event, it started off as a coffee chat. I still remember there were like, you know, 10 to 15 of us just, you know, just chatting about our product management experience, just, just in regular. And then right now, um, then I've joined her and we've built around like 200 plus people in the community. And it's been a wonderful experience. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, that's, that sounds really good. It's very interesting. What about you, Rashmi? So, well, I've been in UAE all my life mm -hmm. and I moved to, moved to Dubai like two years back. Uh, especially during COVID only. We wanted a change from Abu Dhabi and I'm like, okay, Dubai, here I come. And I've been in the product management industry for past five plus years. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, definitely I started with robotics and then I was an AI and that's the AI company in which I grew as a product manager. Right now I work in health tech and uh, definitely during my journey, a couple of months back, nearly seven to eight months back, I happened to go into this product me networking event and the first thing which came into my mind was when I was starting my journey, if there was a community like this, things could have been a bit more smoother, guided and then I really felt that this is the best way I can give back to the community and as you see Dubai is a very growing industry. Most of the organizations are here to become more product oriented going forward. And definitely there are a lot of product opportunities, but you know, there's a, there's a gap between having the right candidates for the roles in Dubai. And that's where we feel our community can fit in and kind of help people grow into the role. So that's a brief. Awesome, super, that's, that sounds really interesting. Okay, tell me something about Dubai your your experience about Dubai, what do you love about Dubai okay. and how something about your product me community, these two things, Dubai and product me community. Dubai, like how Rashmi mentioned, even I grew up in this region. So we have seen oh, the wow. transition okay. of Dubai from how we had only trade center on the entire Sheikh Zayed Road and we had that hard rock cafe maybe, yes. the, the two guitar which on our way to Abu Dhabi. So we've been from that generation, we've seen the transition of how Dubai has grown from the land of deserts to the land of opportunities. Awesome. Um, now, there are a couple of reasons why Product Me came into the picture, but then before that one thing I would always say is, Dubai is land of opportunities and it's a melting pot. So you, every third person you meet, you learn something about their culture. And beautiful, beautiful. It's mm -hmm. such an interesting way that we can network. You, you might meet somebody who is from a product space, I, I would say physical product space, so they might be doing interior fitters. You might, the, the next person or the third person you meet could be somebody from metaverse or future, yeah. Yeah. digital transformation, from crypto. That's nice. It's, it's that wide, it's that varied. So it's, you need to be open to those opportunities to speak. And we try to build a platform with product me for that. And if you're ready to learn, educate, be there, Dubai is the most perfect place for that. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. So beautifully said. So for me, I moved here last year. So when I moved here, I didn't know how long I was going to be here for. Um, I really told my kids it's going to be a year long vacation. We'll be back next year. And that's exactly what I told my friends and family back in Canada that, you know what, I'm coming here for a year. Clearly, I've stayed more than a year right now, so I like this place, and and I'm seeing a huge. I feel like Dubai is best of both worlds in terms of West and the East. Like it's a good merge. Um, uh, like since I've moved here, everything has been very convenient. Like you know, in Canada, I haven't found this convenience. Like we were working, you know, um, coming back home, we had to do our stuff on our own. Everything was on our own. Like over here, I find things, I can outsource a lot of things and okay. it's been very convenient. I think that's what I love about Dubai. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, you know, I can live my life like to the full potential uh -huh. and not really worry about my laundries. Okay, <laughs> that's, that. great. that's great. Um, and about product me, I think, see, that's where I found my first kid. Like I uh -huh. networked, I honestly didn't know where to start. I didn't know... I didn't know anybody here like you know once you're in a certain region I, I was in Canada for a very long time and I started my career there so every time I moved jobs it was uh, with people who I already worked with before it was very easy I honestly did not really like the interview process was very easy because I had already worked with them right That's so right. now coming to Dubai knowing nobody here it was so hard to actually break in mm -hmm. and I have to say product me help product me helped me like break into this you know product space here i work in yes. like a uh, online travel agency company here mm -hmm. called Zero. it's a saudi based organization but um i met the vp there at product me i met the product directors there i network with them and when wow. the opportunity arrives do you know i went for an interview and i got the gig awesome that's a beautiful and that's, story and that's yeah. what product me is about right? yeah i would i would say that people who are listening to this interviews they would be thrilled about product me you know that the kind of opportunity you got yeah. and just a year back like whole country has been coming out of covid you come and then you got this opportunity it's a, it's a beautiful story it's mostly like this now uh, we started off as a community for product managers mm -hmm. we've been uh, the, since the last couple of events we've run what close to seven events mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, every event we get a different mix of people i think the last event we had people who were interested to move towards business uh -huh. there were investors yeah. so there were a couple of them that i interacted with they actually had their own trading company or something yeah. of those sorts nice. they're, they're looking for investment opportunities to invest in businesses that are here beautiful uh, we have a lot of entrepreneurs were there yes. last time and also i think because we're giving different talks at different events like last time was based on the one that rashmi gave was about entrepreneurship so we had a lot of entrepreneurs and based on different events i think our crowd is also okay. changing yeah, again yeah, evolving right. instead of it's, like it's dynamic, I would yeah, say. It's, it's, it's very, very dynamic. Well, it's very dynamic. And a lot of the companies, a lot of the spaces that we actually go into, they're ready for collaborations. Mm -hmm. wow. And everything works on collaborations in this region. Yeah. Which is, it's it's welcoming. Uh -huh. Because you, you, you feel welcome into those spaces. Like how we work with Concert Plus for most of our events. Uh, all that I had to do was we attended one yes, event, which was called right Expo enough. Culture Expo. Mm -hmm. uh, we loved the space. We spoke to one of the one of the members there. Yes. They connected us to the owner of the space, and mm -hmm. then that got the ball, ball rolling. rolling. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, related to this, what you just mentioned, I think this is a a, a very big part of I would say Dubai's mm -hmm. innovation. Mm -hmm. So, so tell me something about this community. Like, how Dubai helps in innovating your thoughts. So your community and how innovation has been prospering in Dubai. Can you exemplify this? Can you give me some examples? Uh, in simplest words, if you see as Samna and Prerna rightly said, Dubai has more of expats, okay? Mm -hmm. We are a mixed pool of people. Mm -hmm. Definitely Dubai is considered as a comfortable transit because if you see the taxes are very relaxed here, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. People get to own and save as well as enjoy because of the weather mm -hmm. compared to different parts of the world. And uh, I think it's that <laughs> culture where people want to come here and they are coming here for opportunities. Uh -huh. You know, and we rightly tapped into that and what kind of, you know, helps you grab opportunity in Dubai is networking. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that was our base to make product me and I, I'm sure you can add in more into it. Um, so in UAE, uh -huh. uh, every uh, 
since October. Every month or every weekend or every week, there are at least five events happening. Uh -huh. Which, uh, so it, you can start, if you go to Trade Center, if you go to World Trade Center, yes. where all the exhibitions take yes. place, from October till uh, probably around uh, May, or beginning, ending of May, beginning of June, you will see back to back to back to events happening. So we have, um, we had Jitex, which is coming up yeah. uh, in two weeks. Uh, after Jitex, along with Jitex, there's AI. Yeah. AI everything, there yeah. is uh, FinTech one, something related to FinTech happening. So that is, that is then the Then we have World Food coming in, Fair. Yeah, yeah, that's Gulf also a big platform. Up. Index is there. Index is there, There's yeah. so much opportunity just yeah. from those trade fairs that you see. Yeah, where right. from from there, you, you, you need to break into smaller bits. Yeah. So that's where a lot of these communities. So we have uh, co-working spaces that mm -hmm. open up yeah. tech co-working spaces. So you can start off with Astro Labs. They have their own digital room. Yes. Yeah. They conduct events. Yes. And the events are so varied. So you can find somebody, some event that's related to digital marketing. You can find find communities which are related to data entry. Microsoft has their own community. Wow. Why we wanted to be a little different is because we wanted to bring all those people into our community How and grow it in such a way that we all go hand in hand we always th yes. look about think about co collaborating with other communities yeah. and doing bigger events yeah. and growing from there yeah. uh, we did like a lot of the discussions that we have after the events is oh, okay this is not there let's try and do it this way and uh, as a matter of fact even our consultancy yes mm -hmm. grew up only from that aspect. So our uh, financial wing uh -huh. is actually yeah. a consultancy. Okay, okay. That's where we get a revenue stream as yeah, from a consultancy, yeah. like helping our startups build like, you know, compelling vision. Like mm -hmm. usually what happens with startups is like, you know, they know what they want to do, mm -hmm. but they don't know how to do it or how okay. to go about yeah. it. Right? Okay. That's where we come in. We're there to help them. Mm -hmm. Our consultancy wing, like, you know, one of us is usually there with the startup organization, helping mm -hmm. them build like what a vision is, what a mission is, and also like get into like what the market segmentation is, things like that, right? Very like nice. where okay. as a startup entrepreneur, you're you're kind of confused at that point of time. You know mm -hmm. what you want to build, but you mm -hmm. don't know how to go about it. That's and that's good. how again, that's also started off from product me, product right? Me. That's that good. also that's branched good. out from, from product me yeah. from the community when there were entrepreneurs yeah. where they're like, you know what, they got stuck. They're like, mm -hmm. hey, can we have some kind of a part-time product managers who can mm -hmm. help us? That's good, that's good. So technically people who are listening to you right now, they can also understand that you have a segment where someone who wants to start up in Dubai, mm -hmm. there is a community which can help them in yes. doing so yes. and that community has a commercial setup of mm -hmm. making them or taking them in that journey mm -hmm. of starting up in Dubai that's mm -hmm. good that's cool that's really cool okay lot of, lot, we, we have been discussing a lot about technical stuff and something which is very heavier on people who are probably listening to you <laughs> there is something about your love life laughter in Dubai so I just saw that expression on Zamna when uh, Rashmi was mentioning about <laughs> weather is good and I was like, okay. Months of summer. <laughs> okay. Okay. Two months. Like I'm getting used to it. The only thing that my kids complain about is the weather. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. The only thing yeah. they complain about is the weather. We go out there like, oh my god, it's too hot. It's too hot. I can't stay here. It's too hot. <laughs> Give it a couple of months. I mean, we are at uh, September. Yeah. yeah. December, you will start doing. Yeah. That. So I love it, right? Like during. Again, I'm going back in. Uh, I'm going back to Canada. I'm visiting in uh, October. October, and then I'm like. Fall, the kids wanted to go back during fall. It's yeah. Some things that we miss is again having different seasons. Yeah. But then again, uh, it's so easy to travel from Dubai. Yes. Like if you want to go to Europe, you want to go anywhere. Very valuable. Yeah. It's yeah. so convenient to travel yeah. from yeah, exactly. it, 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 I mean, we say window to the Middle East for yeah. a reason that you have six hours flight to UK, you yeah. have seven hours, eight hours flight to Singapore, yes. and you connect the whole world. Yeah. You know, that's that's yeah. something very exactly. beautiful. You would actually see, so I think I was speaking to somebody 
last. So I met somebody last week and uh, I messaged her today morning asking, let's set up the next meeting. Let's see, let's move forward with what needs to be done. I messaged her. She's like, I'm traveling today. I'll be back in one week. So that's that's exactly how well connected we are. So people yeah. people have their business base in UAE in and UAE. they travel or work with yeah. different countries. Yeah. So, is, so so they keep traveling to different parts of the world. Come back again to Dubai. Fifteen days, one month, two months they spend, and then again go back. Yeah. I mean, so as I was asking you, so how many of you? love doing barbecues in the winters so i was asking love life laughter tell me something more about it because weather is one thing what else you love about dubai or your life are you saying that we love dubai weather uh, <laughs> global village come on uh, okay. yeah, it's, it's global like, village okay okay that's nice that's yeah. amazing yes yeah, actually global village for 25 years if you, if you actually remember when global village started they used to have they used to do uh, like a market in uh, dera Oh, the okay. Cornish, uh, somewhere around the Cornish, they would do. It started off like that, then slowly it became a one-month fair. Uh, oh it wow! Became, um, so that's how it was. Oh, and yes. there used to be temporary structures. Exactly, and I used to go there only for the rides because we never used to see such rides before. All the parks came in the mud, mm-hmm. and now that's the place where you go when if you really like different cultures want to get souvenirs and you know connect with different things why to travel around just go to global village it's a <laughs> and it's a great platform for businesses as well right yes. I, mean, oh, wow. I know some of my uh, friends back in india they wanted to come and experiment something exactly especially for handicraft and physical products right global village is definitely a good mm-hmm. market especially if you're in the food segment again it's a good place to experiment yeah. You know, the it, it, yes. it gives a good base to actually see what people want before yeah. expanding. And uh, that's from a global village point of view. Now, for the next couple of months, there's so many things to do. Yeah. Okay, winters we all go inside, but then we have indoor activities just for that. What we have, uh, I mean, there's, there's, there's ice skating. Like there is skiing. I tell my kids, I'm like, yeah. guys, you you guys miss skating? Like, let's go. This let's go to the ice is, rink over here. There's penguins. I, I can't believe yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> so you put up all of your friends, you meet penguins. <laughs> like, how? Who I don't see. Yes. yes, I don't see yeah. in Toronto. <laughs> so in case you are a person who loves skiing. Even in summers, you can ski in Dubai. Wow! <laughs> so that's yes. you can. It's, you can. It's, <laughs> it's so funny because um, so the per like. Whoever built Ski Dubai over here yeah. is a Canadian and you know has built all that over there, the skiing yeah, yeah. places, right? Yeah. So um, we told one of our friends from here to actually, so we're planning a trip in December. We're like, you know what? Learn skiing over here. Yeah. <laughs> and then this we'll go for the nice. ski trip. Yeah, and so then good. we go for the ski trip, that's right? Good. So that's again, good. that's the both worlds, that's right? Awesome. Yeah, that's that's beautiful. Oh, that. Um, Deep dive, deep dive Dubai. Deep yes. dive Dubai, yeah. So you can just keep on exploring yeah. the opportunities of love, life, and laughter in Dubai. Yeah. You know, there's, there's no limit to it. And yeah. then November hits, there's something like fitness. Yeah, one month fitness. of fitness challenge. Yeah. The whole Emirate is, you know, there will be different activities, public yeah. and private yeah. also. And um, every weekend you have something to do. I mean, there's always, so yeah, product me is definitely there most of the weekends we even try and do it. But there, there is something. So one thing I love about Dubai is there's always a new restaurant popping up. So there's something uh-huh. new to try. That's again a business you know, yeah. opportunity. Uh, uh, cafes. Oh, there's a cat cafe in Dubai. Yeah. A cat cafe and owl. owl. There's one place. I owl, 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 yes. Owl, owl, owl cafe in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, yeah. There is a board game. So there is, uh, I think, a uh, near Dubai frame. Mm. Dubai frame itself is one example. Yeah. You see the past and present of that's yeah, right. That's so right. If you visit, you have to go there that's to gain true. the whole experience. So near, um, sorry, near Dubai Frame, as I was saying, there is a board game cafe, okay. which is supposed to be one of the largest in this region. And okay. they recently opened up. Yeah. Ah, okay. Board game cafe. Board games. They have close to I think thousand, thousand five hundred games. Oh my wow. And there are, I'm still saying, is like in the in the lower end. And <laughs> you can think of games, people, people from every age group. You can find a three-year-old to a 60, 65 year old man or a family playing. Families go there. Yeah. They yes. sit for hours together. You see college kids. Uh, there's a huge gaming, board gaming community. Community over there. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Yeah. That's Not beautiful. only that, there are enough community 
kids which connect you to their Bedouin culture, the old culture of mm. Dubai. And they have, especially in the winters, it's going to be a lot of desert safari mm. and camps yes. in the desert. So all that is also there if you are more from the quieter side also. So it basically offers you everything you need. That's one great. small place. That's great. And uh, fit, fit into every pocket. Yeah. You just need to be completely. So you can go and spend 100,000 dirham in a day. Yeah. <laughs> or 100,000 100 dollars, I would say. Or you can just spend. Not even yeah. 10 dirhams. 10 dirhams. Yeah. Yeah. You can do like 10 dirhams. Uh, if, you yeah. do, if you go towards uh, abroad. If you, do, um, right, yeah, yeah. if you do that whole experience with the tenders, you can finish your finish entire your <laughs> day, like a day trip. You have the, the gold souk. Actually, it's a, as a matter of fact, if you actually look, it's between um, uh, Dera and Bar Dubai. That yeah. Dubai is actually the there's an underwater tunnel. Shindaga tunnel is such an such iconic a, yeah. Thing. I mean, they built it underwater, what, in the early 90s? Right, yes. yeah. When we were kids, that was like the connection. Between yeah. Now we have bridges. Yes. <laughs> they definitely <laughs> bridge the new one which has come up. Yeah. They're all really pretty. But yeah. then if you look at the old stuff. Yeah, the kind of development which happened at that yeah, time, it was marvel. Mm -hmm. It's a marvel construction, no doubt about it. I mean, no doubt about it. So, I mean, uh, out of all what we have discussed, take a deep breath. Mm -hmm. Okay. And one last question for all three of you. Yes. Okay. Your final advice to anyone who wants to come to Dubai? There would be people who are listening to you. There, there would be students who are doing their MBA or bachelors. There are businessmen who want to come and do business. So one last thing, one last question, your advice for people who are coming to Dubai. Job related, business related, anything. Yeah, I what I can say yeah. is to have patience. Because I feel like, um, and I also feel like uh, people I've spoken to again, people from different parts of the world who've been here, I think the first thing is that you know you need to have patience. Things don't happen as quickly as you think it could. Like I know, like in back in Canada, I could. Uh, it was very easy for me to get a job. It was very easy for me to meet people. It was, everything was very easy. Over here, it took a bit of time. Right? Like it took a bit of There's time. There's a learning curve. Yeah. There's a learning curve. Like you know, you need to understand the market. Patience and again, network. Networking is huge in this region, I think. I think it's bigger than anything in this region. If you want to build a business, if you want to start something, if you're looking for jobs, I think if you're networking, then already like people, if people already know you, it's much easier to get it, right? That's I think awesome. those two are my biggest, and I guess something that I've gone through since last year is like to have patience. Like it's easy, very easy for you to get like, oh my God, this is not working out. Like, yeah. you know, should, should I just go back? It's been three months, should I just go back? <laughs> and I've said this to my husband a few times. I'm like, I think I should just go back, right? But um, somebody actually, he's my VP right now. Like he told me about how it took him seven months to find his first gig. And I'm like, yeah. oh my God, how could it take you seven months to find yeah. something, right? And yeah, so right now, like, I'm really happy, like, you know, in the community aspect, like, product me community, also with my job, I think, um, yeah, just having patience. patience and networking is, like, That's the cool. biggest advice yeah. I can give. Come with an open mind. I'm not going to say a lot, okay. but I would always say with Dubai, you need to come with an open mind. You need, people are welcoming, but then you should not uh, be scared or how it's going to be, maybe this is not going to happen. If fear sets in, you can... Pack your bags and go back. Mm -hmm. Dubai is a land of opportunity, mm -hmm. and somehow or the other, you will find some outlet. Now, product me is just one of the aspects that I'm working with. I'm working with a team who wants to do collaborative events mm -hmm. in the metaverse in UAE. Very like, you nice. want to start off with events in UAE and then go globally. So, think that's a kind of opportunity. There's a certain set of one set of people whom I'm talking to who want to do flea markets. Yeah. And do flea markets in Dubai and Very actually nice. bring in home entrepreneurs and people who are in this region, give them a platform. So, so that's the kind of opportunity you get. And you you can say no, I will I will not put it as mm -hmm. never say no. Mm -hmm. But then think about it. If somebody gives you an idea, think about it. Think about it with an open mind. See if it is possible, if it's feasible for you. Go ahead and do it. That's Beautiful, beautiful, open mind. Patience, open mind. Oh, wow. 
Wow, so they have actually covered the two most important things, <laughs> okay, to be honest. So what is different in Dubai, which was five years back and right now is Dubai has a lot of visa types which allow you to come and stay and they are relaxing the restrictions. And this exactly makes like such things kind of like encourage a bit of organic market because till now 10 years back the region had mostly like a very structured market we don't see very different variety of business but in the recent past like five to six years you can see a lot of variety of business because people are coming here to stay for a very very long time they want to have their bases in Dubai so that actually gives you opportunity for many things so for me it would be my advice would be after having patience coming with an open mind just network ah beautiful <laughs> so patience open mindedness and networking yes. that's the three yeah. key advices from prerna zamna and rashmi yeah. thank you so much it was really nice and awesome thank you. talk i said you would love it right the whole interview <laughs>